You've probably tapped into this video because you've noticed that the current Google Drive app still doesn't allow you to upload folders. So in this video I'm going to show you how you can upload folders or any files to your Google Drive. So the first thing you need to do is you need to download a file manager called Astro which is completely free. So we'll just open up the Play Store. We'll type in Astro. It's a very popular, very good file manager. We'll tap install here. So Astro will allow you to manage your files locally and on any network location as well. So if you have a box account or a Dropbox or anything else. So here it's asking about its data collection. I'll just say I don't want this and I agree. Then I'll say um, I don't want to grant usage access because it's not necessary. The only thing we'll need to grant access is file, file access so we can move files. So we'll just say allow. So on this, on this first page here on Astro File Manager, you'll see some uh, an area called storage locations here and a plus icon. So at the moment we have access to our internal storage because we've granted that. So we can also add access to any cloud storage as well. So we'll just tap on the plus icon. We'll choose which storage location we want to add. So we can add a box, Dropbox, Google Drive, even an FTP server or anything else. So in this case, we're going to go Google Drive account, tap on that. Then it'll ask you which Google Drive account would you like. So if you're signed into your Google account already, your account should appear and you can just tap on it. If not, just tap on add another account. So my account that I want is listed here, so I'll just tap on that. Then it might ask you to verify that you want to allow access uh, to Astro. So Astro can manage your, your files on Google Drive. So you can just say allow. Then it prompts you to enter an account name. This is just for your own purposes, so I'll just call mine uh, Sticky Apple. And that's how it'll appear within the app. So then just say continue to Google Drive. So what we'll do is we can just switch back and forward from and to internal storage or our cloud storage by tapping on this arrow at the top left. So here we're in our cloud storage. We can jump to our internal storage by tapping there. We can choose whatever file or folder that we want to transfer, no matter how big or small it is, uh, because this supports background processing as well. So you could move things in the background if you want to move something very large. So I'm just going to go into downloads. Okay, so within my downloads here, I've created a test folder for Google Drive and inside I've included several file types, so a video, an app uh, and a couple of pictures. So to move the entire folder or as many folders or files as I like, I just hold my finger down on it. You'll see the tick there, so I can select multiple items if I want to. So in this case, I just want the folder to be moved. So then I'll tap on the top right, the options, then there's an option to move to or copy to. So move to will remove it from the original location and keep it only in the uh, destination whereas copy to will leave it in my internal storage and also have the copy in Google Drive so in this situation I just want to move the folder because I don't need it in my internal storage as well so I'll say move to then I can switch back to my Google Drive by tapping on the arrow on the top left and then tap on sticky apple which is the name of my Google Drive account then here I can just press move and the item will be moved. So here it's moving all the files and the folder as well. And if you're sending a lot of files or very large files, you can tap on this background button and the process will continue in the background and you'll get a notification when it's done. And you can see the entire folder has moved here. So we've got the test folder for Google Drive and if we tap it open. We can see all the files in there as well. So we can see the, the video, the app and the two pictures that I had moved. And that's as easy as that. So you can move items to your Google Drive or any cloud storage and even back again very easily using uh, Astro File Manager. So say if I wanted to move this folder back to my internal storage now I could just hold it down tap on move to or if I wanted to copy it to keep a copy I would just say copy to and follow the same process as before and switch back to my internal storage or I can I can actually move items in between cloud storages so this this is very useful for file transferring or keeping backups of multiple folders and files uh, as this process can run in the background as well and this app is completely free 
So if this helped you and this was useful, do remember to hit the like button. And uh, if you want more videos like this, please do subscribe.